of leaving his continent to rise, as other people have described it as a very big crisis for the country. Now, as millions continue to struggle to afford the cost of living and the condition continues to hit hard, mostly with the unprivileged people. Now, the urban poor and uh, some of the most difficult conditions have been see seen in many slums across Kampala and also across the country. Due to, to, due to the ever-increasing cost of essential commodities, people in the slums of Kamocha have cut a number of meals that they have a day and uh, some even resulting to survive on one meal a day. A condition feared to result in too malnutrition, according to the local authorities in the community. They say this may also increase other vices which are bad in the society. Now, Robert Ndiamhacha reports. This community is home to more than a thousand people. Men here are going hungry most of the time and represent as many urban poor surviving under similar circumstances. Commodity rationing is already a reality people are living with here, having to choose between having lunch or supper each day. When I fail to go to school, because of they want to, at least to afford to eat a meal. They eat one meal a day. The local chairperson blames the current dire condition of the resident to the ever rising cost of household commodities and warns it could trigger a public health crisis in malnourishment and stunted growth among children. According to the way our people are feeding, we are seeing that problems can't raise. So, because they buy, they cannot even afford a milk to buy milk for the younger ones. Whereby the government should intervene. Namusasi Hasefa is a single mother of three, including this eight-month-year-old baby. She sells charcoal to be able to fend for her family, but says the business doesn't bring in enough to support the small family. <laughs> Her eight month old baby needs enough of nutrient rich food such as milk, fruits, and vegetables. However, the foods are not in her reach, like many here, and fears this may affect her baby's development, including her brain development, that will most likely affect her in the future. <laughs> Hasifa's story is one many living here associate with, including this 65-year-old former street vendor, Rose Kabatongore. Her condition has worsened ever since she was expelled from the street as a vendor, she says. According to the local chairperson, the consequences are far reaching than just the inability to afford daily life. The condition is a seedbed for crime in the community that has intensified over the last couple of months. In the morning, I go to one of my residents who reported they have begun entering their houses. I've stolen their phones, TVs, even right now, someone to move at night, it has become a problem. Robert Indiamhachi and Alison Naluja for BTM News today.